I don't know, fires would be... Fires can happen anywhere in the natural world, right? And the lightning can strike and it can burn. burn. There's places where it's less likely to burn. It's right. It's not likely to burn very well, right? So in the mountains, there's lots of painful areas. Fires start there, but they usually don't burn very far. They kind of peter out. And even there in that part of the Piedmont, fires get started every once in a while. They usually don't burn very much. But in an area like this, we're throwing uh, the pine needles on the fire last night, right? And it'd be a raging inferno. So you can imagine if a lightning strikes around here in these forests, and you look around, what's the main thing these forests? It's a long pine, but this stuff right here. And, you know, this whole thing is a, a tinderbox, right? So that's one of the reasons that when you look around uh, as you drive in through these roads, it has a really open kind of forest look. So it's called a savanna. It's, there's trees, but they're not closed, not dark and shady. So it's a longleaf pine savanna. And what's the thing that maintains it in that condition? It's, it's fire. So these longleaf pines, they have to have fire. Um, they, they can't live without fire. They can't reproduce without fire. So they produce those great big giant pine cones that we're burning up. And the pine cones don't even open up to drop their seeds unless they're heated up to a really high temperature by fire. So they are extremely adapted to fire. They, they get a really thick bark that you can see the fire was here, but it didn't kill the tree, right? It's hard, to, it's hard to tell on these oaks that are right behind us. So there's very few oaks that are fire resistant. There are a couple, but uh, actually in North Carolina, I don't think that there are any. Like fire. all this is on fire at one point? Yeah, not, not just at one point. This is all on fire like every couple of years, like every two or three years, probably. Everywhere around that we've been driving, almost. Wow. Well, any of the game lands, for, for certain. If fires start in some of the other places, they usually put them out. They still start, fires just start in places like this easily, right? Because it's really dry. Yeah, dude, like they needles. come out here and do it? And yeah, they, they come out and do it uh, on purpose. But yeah, so Rebecca was just saying that this, this looks fake. So they don't, they don't set seed unless there's fire. They have to have fire to be able to reproduce, right? So it's kind of like this vicious circle. So this, this stuff right here is what's kind of similar. These little clumps. Those are called wire grass. Wire grass doesn't set seed in us. It burns. <clears throat> so they're, they're both designed to, to burn up so that they can have seeds. And all the other oaks around here, they don't, they don't really tolerate fire. So fire misses for a couple of years or it's in a wet area, they start to grow up, right? And the fire goes through wipes out all the oaks, sort of sets it back into this kind of stage. But <clears throat> you can imagine how hot that fire gets, right, with the, when you're throwing those pine needles on there. Well, when these are really little, they don't have the thick bark that will let them survive a hot fire. So what they do is they grow like this for several years, uh, just they don't grow tall. That's like a, I don't know, I'm not a longleaf expert, but that's it, at least four or five years. This one right here. That. Yeah. And those. I'm gonna say. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why we came. That's why we walked right over here so we can look at them. They stay like this, and if a fire goes through here, they'll burn up. But the part that's really sensitive to the, the fire is the stem. And the stem at this point is not gonna burn up. And this this is designed to just rapidly burn away. So once they get ready to to, to move on to the next stage of their life, and this is where they're really vulnerable. They shoot up in this little pole stage like this. So if a fire comes through here, this one would prob probably be toast. If it doesn't have the thick enough bark yet. But they're only like they're only like this for a, a little bit, for like a year, two years at most. And then they get bigger and thicker really fast. And then they can survive fire. So I mean, they're called long leaf pines. You can see they have long, long pine needles. Makes a lot of long pine needles. That's a really good fire material, right? It's a really good fuel. So they, they fall off and there's just fuel everywhere. They sort of restart the cycle, right? The pine needles fall off. It burns up. So yeah. And longleaf long pine used to be millions and millions and millions of acres. It went from Virginia all the way to south into Florida, then west to Texas but it's, it's really imperiled now. It's a really imperiled ecosystem. 
partly because it needs fire to maintain it, right? So what happens when something catches on fire? First thing, I call the fire department. They come out there and set, put the fire out, right? So a lot of longleaf pyre, a lot of longleaf pine savanna has been lost to fire suppression, but a lot of it was cut too. And it's it's easy to develop and do other things because compared to a regular forest, there's not that many trees, right? So you can clear it really fast. It's not as much work. But yeah, longleaf pines. We're gonna we're gonna do one other thing, but I don't think we're gonna have time. We're gonna look at one other wetland type. So what we're gonna do right now is look at this little seepage wetland.